we've got my cell wired in series my three cells hooked up to our rotary vic with the three positives coming out with the diode going to our cell we're pulsing this at about four hertz at 50 percent duty cycle so I want to show you the production off this. We're going to turn this on. This is our voltage across the cell. And what I'm going to show you here, I'm going to flip this switch and turn this on. I want you to watch these three cells. Ready? Nuking. Nuking the cells. Look at this production. In this series of videos, I document my progress on unlocking the secrets of Stanley A. Meyer. For over a decade, I've studied and replicated the devices of Stanley Meyer, specifically the water fuel cell, a device that splits water into hydrogen and oxygen for use as a combustible fuel. Here I discuss water fuel cell theory in hopes of connecting with other like-minded individuals to unlock the secrets. This is Stan's Revenge. getting ranges from about 50 to 100 volts at the cell and you can see these things are just absolutely chugging I tested the amperage on these amperage is extremely low running through these cells I'll probably do another video with that I'll hook up the amp meter to this too. I'm only putting a couple hundred milliamps to this VIC. Coming back and producing hundreds of volts and just absolutely stunning, phenomenal, unreal amounts of hydrogen. I will return. All right, here's my rotary VIC I wound years and years ago. We're hooked up to a one half power motor running about 1700 RPM, standard 110 volt. Amp meter hooked up to it to show what kind of amp we're pulling on that. We have our uh, PWM running only about four hertz, 50% duty cycle. And then we have our current voltage across the cell. These are my three four inch six cells wired in series, everything wired in series. We have diodes coming in and out of the cell and then our three leads, positive leads off of the rotary VIC have these uh, diodes, which then that feeds to the cell itself. This thing, I don't have an amp meter hooked up to it. Normally it pulls about 200 milliamps somewhere in that neighborhood well under one amp you can see you can see we're consuming about nine amps of power i'm gonna flip this on i want you to see what this does look at that production Absolute insane production. Averaging about, you know, 50 to over 100 volts at the cell. Wires feel cool to the touch. There's very little amp draw going actually through the cell. The only thing really consuming power is this motor which at 10 amps the entire system's probably about 1200 watts about 1200 watts 110 volt motor one half horsepower rotary vic diodes from the windings diode in and out of the cell my cells wired in series 
PWM. I'm slapping it just about 100%. I'm at 99% duty cycle at 2.75 kilohertz voltage across the cell. Get amp consuming at idle. Look at that. Just destroying it. 238 volts at the cell. Low amperage in the cell. I've got this little test wire right here. It does not get hot. My wires do not get hot. My diodes do not get hot. The only thing that gets hot is this motor right here because it's under so much stress. But we just have an incredible amount of production. I could not get enough of this. Stance Revenge.